Okay, so recently I made a video talking about GTA 5 and why I'd stop playing GTA 5 and why you should stop playing GTA 5 too. And that video has been very, very polarizing. There's a lot of people who agree with me and there's also a lot of people who really, really fucking disagree with me. And if you go into the comment section of that video, there is so many comments disagreeing with me and like comments about like people just coping and do you know what i just want to be totally honest in this video talking about video games and just get this straight out off the start i fucking love gta 5 i love playing video games i find it so so fun i absolutely love it that's why i stopped playing them <laughs> there's so much copium in that comment section is actually crazy. If you were one of the people that watched my GTA video and it does have quite a decent amount of views for this channel and you didn't like what I said or you disliked it and you left a comment, whatever. Bro, unsubscribe from the channel. Don't watch my videos. You're not the kind of guy that I'm interested in having on my channel. On this channel, I want to teach people and young men who are very serious about improving the life, who have been in the same situation as me where you just spend hours a day on video games or even just one hour, you know, playing with friends, having a bit of a escape, relaxing, you know, escaping from the real world and all this kind of thing. If you're one of these guys who really, really fucking disagree with me on that, just unsubscribe from the channel, mate. I only want people who are super, super serious about self-improvement, they're ambitious, they know what it's like to be addicted to video games, they know what it's like to play GTA for hours on end, and they know how shit that feels and how they have been stuck in the same situation, working the same job with the same body, not improving the diet, having the same girlfriend for years, same relationships, and they're just doing the same thing year in, year out. And they wanna make some serious, serious changes to the life. That's the only people that I want to have on this channel because they're the only people that will be able to relate to me because I used to be addicted to GTA. I used to play it constantly. I talked about that in the video and I always had this horrible feeling after spending hours and hours playing GTA, not even just GTA, video games in general. And I used to have this horrible feeling of worthlessness, like I'd wasted so much time. And there's so many guys in that comment section who just, they're coping so, so hard. They're like, they just cannot stand the fact that someone has basically t said to them, listen, maybe you shouldn't be spending an hour or two hours a day on video games. And there'll be people coming with all kinds of excuses. And this just perfectly outlines to me the exact problem that I'm kind of trying to solve along with other self-improvement YouTubers with young dudes today. It's the exact same thing with TikTok. It's the same thing with watching Netflix. It's the same thing with porn. It's the same fucking argument. People who just cannot accept that they are doing a bad habit and that it's not helping them in their lives. And do you know what? The reality of it is, if you want to make some fucking mad progress in your life, like I have, I have made a fuck ton of progress in my life. I used to be fat, a fat dude who just sat in his room, played GTA, ate whatever the fuck he wanted, feeling down, same shitty job, not working on any business, not doing anything. I've taken myself out of all that situation. You have to be really quite extreme right? In order to change your life in such a way, you have to be extreme. You have to be ruthless. You have to ruthlessly take out the bad habits in your life. You have to stop vaping. You have to just delete social media. You have to stop watching porn. You have to stop playing video games, not even for an hour a day. One of the biggest things I've, I've seen from the comment section from a lot of young dudes, and I'm pretty sure the guys who are commenting on these videos are like young ass dudes. Like well, probably what something I, to be fair on them, maybe it's something I probably would have commented when I was like 16, 15, 16. Now that I'm 22, I've got to realize sometimes in the videos, and this is a mistake I'm making, that I'm 22 and I'm speaking to, some, sometimes I'm making videos that, and people are watching it who are literally like 15, 16. They're not, they're not mature enough, they just don't understand. And yes, what I'm hearing a lot from these commenters is they're talking about it's just spending time with their friends and that, you know, it's not that big a deal, it's not that serious, bro, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's like, no, 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 it really is that serious. Like, if you only spend time with your friends through a virtual game, then that's not a good thing. Like, go and meet them in real life. And you might think, well, what's the difference? You know, like, oh, I'll just meet them in real life. What's the difference between that and talking to them on a game? It's like eye contact, handshaking, patting them on the back, right? Like being present, being able to communicate, talk, like not having the kind of um, filter of being in the game so you can kind of say whatever you want without any like repercussions, that kind of thing. There's like so many more benefits. Like you, you, like if you're playing GTA with your friends right now, and that's the main reason because you want to spend time with your friends, you would be better going out and like drinking and getting drunk with your friends at a pub and having a good time. That would be like more healthy for you than playing video games. 
and a lot of comments about escapism and like ha having to escape the world to spend time with the friends and like just have fun and just relax and like oh it's a nice 50 50 healthy balance it's like what are you escaping from like if you have to escape into a game because your life is so shit right now why would you escape that why not confront that and try and do something about it? Why not set up a YouTube channel and try and build a business through YouTube? Why not start a podcast and with your friends and like try and build a podcast? Why would you not try and start in like an agency, like an SMMA? Why would you not try and go for some like big job where you work abroad and you're like doing sales or something? Like why would you not try and fix that situation that you're having to escape from? I just don't understand it. <laughs> like they're, they're making me laugh a little bit. People like... Well, yeah, we don't do this in real life because you can't rob banks in real life. Like, come on, mate. Did you seriously think I meant that the work I was doing in GTA to make money, I could just do in real life? Yeah, man, I'll just go rob a fucking island and do some huge heist on some like billionaire's island. No, what I was meaning was achieving financial freedom in real life. Our GTA 5 character is financially free. You hop onto your phone on GTA, you have millions in the bank and you buy a car, you have a house, you don't have to be anywhere at any time. It's time freedom, it's financial freedom. It was a broad comment on just like the overall feel of GTA, that feeling of freedom that you get when you play GTA. Why do you have to escape real life to GTA? Because GTA is more fun than real life. Why would you not try and make your real life more fun than GTA? This is my point, right? And a lot of young dudes, I just don't think got it on that video. They just did not understand it. So if you're playing, I'm, I'm talking about GTA, but let's talk about video games in general. If you're having to escape your real life into a virtual game, then there's something wrong with your actual life. Like genuinely, and you might just disagree with me and think, no, no, video games are fun, Videos, are, video games are fine. Okay, whatever, mate, right? I've been in the situation that you're in right now where you are fully addicted to video games. I'm telling you right now, I don't play video games anymore. I've quit video games and my, my life is better. My, be my life is better than when I was playing video games. And that might be just be a me thing or it might be, you know, something that only like ambitious people who have a bit of something going for them that like, actually care about. Like if you're like a, a young kid and you actually don't give a fuck about like maybe, you know, being financially free, like, you know, all this stuff that I preach on this channel about success and like being able to be financially free, time freedom, that kind of thing. If you actually genuinely don't give a fuck about that, you don't care. Fine. That's fine. Play video games. I don't care, mate. If you're not fussed about like improving your life, and you don't want to be the best version of yourself. You just kind of want to live in comfort. Fine. Do that. You don't have to stop playing video games. This video that I put on this channel about GTA is for the guys who are subscribed to the channel. And the only reason they subscribe to the channel is because they're on self-improvement. And if you're on self-improvement right now and you think it's totally okay playing video games and it's just nice 50-50 life balance and all this stuff and you're living this very kind of like mellow kind of nice approach to self-improvement and nice approach to building a business and being successful and all this kind of stuff, that's fine. You won't be successful because me and a bunch of other dudes who want the same thing that you want, success, money, time freedom, right? We're not playing GTA. So I have more time than you. I have more brain power than you. And I have more focus than you. That's fine. You will. You might find success, to be fair, on self-improvement playing video games. You might find some level of success, but I'm going to find more success than you. It's just, it's just a fact. I have more physical time on my hands to record videos like this, to record my previous video, to record the video before that, right? That time that I have to record videos, to build courses in my school community that I'm working on, to work, to learn, to read, to listen to podcasts, to go for walks, to go to the gym, to work on myself, all that. I have extra time to do that. You don't. You have to spend a certain amount of hours in the day playing video games to escape, right? You have to do that. So that's fine. If you want to have that disadvantage in your life on your self-improvement journey, great. That's absolutely fine. Okay, bro. Hope that cleared things up. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.